kind of enjoyed uh, being able to take bike rides and going to the park and doing those things, but still kind of limiting our contact. One of the hardest hit countries during this pandemic was Italy, but a San Diegan who now lives there says things are finally getting back to normal. Our tennis reporter Mimi Alcala has the update. There's a feeling of hope. We first met Bea Pazenti in March when Italy was drastically hit by the coronavirus pandemic and she was struggling to find that feeling of hope. When I spoke to you last, I think the situation felt so dramatic because we really were in kind of ground zero. She and her fiance Wilson were holed up in their Milan apartment for more than two months. The two had moved from San Diego to Italy last year. Yeah, we were in a very, very severe lockdown. Italy's elderly population was hit the hardest. The once vibrant streets of Milan sat empty for months. Heard the sirens and you really just felt this heavy kind of energy. Fast forward to May, signs of normalcy are returning. The lockdown has ended. All the businesses have reopened. Masks are absolutely uh, required. There hasn't been any resistance, really. There were still 70 deaths reported in the country on May 28th, but that's a drastic drop from the 919 high reported on March 27th. I think people really needed to uh, have this easement kind of get back to life, uh, not only from an economic standpoint, but just from, you know, being locked in your house for 80 days is just unnatural. The hope now is things will go smoothly as more of the country begins reopening. We haven't had this, you know, second wave, so to speak. Hopefully it continues this way. And Bea's advice for San Diegans as our own restrictions start to loosen. Make the right decisions even as things ease up. Just still be mindful and uh, be considerate of other people's comfort level. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. All good advice. There is still a restriction on travel between Italian regions that's expected to be lifted in early June. However, officials do warn things could change if there is a spike in the number of positive COVID-19 cases.